The Dani people, also spelled Ndani, and sometimes conflated with the Lani group to the west, are a people from the central highlands of western New Guinea the Indonesian province of Papua. They are one of the most populous tribes in the highlands, and are found spread out through the highlands. The Dani are one of the most well-known ethnic groups in Papua, due to the relatively numerous tourists who visit the Baliam Valley area where they predominate. Ndani is the name given to the Baliam Valley people by the Moni people, and, while they don't call themselves Dani, they have been known as such since the 1926 Smithsonian Institution Dutch colonial government expedition to New Guinea under Matthew Sterling who visited the Moni. Language <inaudible> 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 Linguists identify at least four sub-groupings of Dani languages Lower Grand Valley Dani 20, speakers. Mid Grand Valley Dani 50, speakers. Upper Grand Valley Dani 20, speakers. And the Lani or Western Dani 180, speakers. The Dani languages differentiate only two basic colors, mili for cool, dark shades such as blue, green, and black, and mola for warm, light colors such as red, yellow, and white. This trait makes it an interesting field of research for language psychologists, e.g. Eleanor Roche, eager to know whether there is a link between way of thought and language. Topic. First contact Topic. A small fringe group of the Dani, living south of Punchak Trikora and presenting themselves as the Pesejim and the Horup tribes, were met on October 29, 1909, by the second South New Guinea expedition led by Hendricus Albertus Lorentz, who stayed several nights in their village. First contact with the populous western Dani was made in October 1920 during the Central New Guinea expedition, which group of explorers stayed for six months with them at their farms in the upper Swart River Valley, now Toli Valley. The Grand Valley Dani were only sighted in the summer of 1938 from an airplane by Richard Archbold. Culture Sweet potatoes are important in their local culture, being the most important tool used in bartering, especially in dowries. Likewise pig feasts are extremely important to celebrate events communally, the success of a feast, and that of a village big man, man of influence or organizer, is often gauged by the number of pigs slaughtered. The Dani use an earth oven method of cooking pig and their staple crops such as sweet potato, banana, and cassava. They heat some stones in a fire until they are extremely hot, then wrap cuts of meat and pieces of sweet potato or banana inside banana leaves. The food package is then lowered into a pit which has been lined with some of the hot stones described above, the remaining hot stones are then placed on top, and the pit is covered in grass and a cover to keep steam in. After a couple of hours the pit is opened and the food removed and eaten. Pigs are too valuable to be served regularly, and are reserved for special occasions only. Ritual small-scale warfare between rival villages is integral to traditional Dani culture, with much time spent preparing weapons and treating resulting injuries. Typically the emphasis in battle is to insult the enemy and wound or kill token victims, as opposed to capturing territory or property or vanquishing the enemy village. Changes in the Dani way of life over the past century are tied to the encroachment of modernity and globalization, despite tourist brochures describing trekking in the highlands with people from the Stone Age. Observers have noted that pro-independence and anti-Indonesian sentiment tends to run higher in highland areas than for other areas of Papua. There are cases of abuses where Dani and other Papuans have been shot and or imprisoned trying to raise the flag of West Papua, the Morning Star. Ethnographic studies <inaudible> <inaudible> In 1961, as a member of the Harvard Peabody study, filmmaker Robert Gardner began recording the Dani of the Baliam River Valley. In 1965, he created the film Dead Birds from this experience. Gardner emphasizes the themes of death and people as birds in Dani culture. Dead birds, or dead men, are terms the Dani use for the weapons and ornaments taken from the enemy during battle vim. These trophies are displayed during the two-day dance of victory after an enemy is killed. Michael Rockefeller, son of former Vice President of the United States Nelson Rockefeller, was a member of the Harvard Peabody study and involved in the production of dead birds. 
While conducting further research on the Azmat people elsewhere in New Guinea, Michael Rockefeller disappeared. His body was never found. References Further reading Gardner, Robert, 1968. Gardens of War, Life and Death in the New Guinea Stone Age. New York, Random House. Hyder, Carl G. The Dugam Dani, a Papuan culture in the highlands of West New Guinea. Aldine Publishing. Hyder, Carl G. Grand Valley Dani, Peaceful Warriors Case Studies in Cultural Anthropology. Wadsworth Publishing, 3rd ed. Matheson, Peter, 1962. Under the Mountain Wall, A Chronicle of Two Seasons in Stone Age New Guinea. Viking Press. ISBN 978-0-14-025270-5. Monbiot, George, 1989. Poisoned Arrows, An Investigative Journey Through Indonesia. Abacus ISBN 0-7181-3153-3. Zuckoff, Mitchell, 2011. Lost in Shangri-La, A True Story of Survival, Adventure, and the Most Incredible Rescue Mission of World War II, Harper ISBN 978-0-06-198834-9 Arbe, Evie Aryati, 2014. Donny the Highlander, Minutia Peguningen. Self-publisher by Evie Aryati Arbe. ISBN 978-1-78280-317-1 UK, ISBN 978-602-70671-0-3 Indonesia. Park, Michael Allen 2014. Peaceful Warriors and Cannibal Farmers. In Introducing Anthropology and Integrated Approach New York, McGraw-Hill 14-343 ISBN 978-0-07-803506-7 Topic. External links Topic. Extensive English language library, some material written by Lani Highland tribespeople Sil Ethnologue on Papua, Indonesia Expeditions to West Papua The Free West Papua Campaign, a global network of West Papuan activists and supporters which calls for self-determination and independence for West Papua and an end to Indonesian colonialism Papua New Guinea where villagers mummify their ancestors and keep their remains Outline of Dani morphology